All right, continuation. So, that's the side unplugged. Put the hose into that side. You can see how much is coming out now. Now that I got the truck running, I'm gonna run this for a couple minutes. Just making sure to keep an eye on the degas bottle. Making sure that thing doesn't run empty. Next, what I'm going to do after this, uh, I'm going to plug everything back up. Except for the radiator. I've been leaving the radiator unplugged, but I'm really going for the block. As you can see, the radiator is not really draining. Then what I'll do, I'll go ahead and hook that back up to the hose. Close all the uh, holes and let it drain back out of the degas bottle just to clean out whatever's in the top of the degas bottle. Just in case. A little extra additive. Uh, I am going to run some uh, purple power in here to make sure all the VC9 is out. Uh, and then I'm going to do a pH test, make sure it's not too acidic, make sure I got all the VC9 out. Pretty simple stuff. Thought it was going to be hard, but it ended up being pretty easy. I saw some recommendations. Uh, see if I can video while I do this. Kind of rev it for a little bit. Kind of force any of the extra stuff out of there. Oh, and also, uh, before I did all of this, I did take the thermostat out. This isn't too hard. Uh, before I even looked, I removed all this shit I didn't have to do. Uh, basically, if you pop your up pipe off, you can get to it. As you can see, but it's right underneath the up pipe here. Uh, two studs, two nuts holding on your EVP sensor. Pop it out. I got a new one anyway. I'm going to replace the water pump, thermostat, radiator. Hoses, replacing a bunch of stuff. This will make it easier uh, when you're doing your flush. That way you don't got to keep uh, waiting for it to get really hot before it starts opening up all the channels. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, it's probably going to be it for the flushing part of it. If you guys got any questions, I did a shit ton of research figure this out uh, go ahead and drop a comment I'll get back to you uh, if you got any questions so yeah stay tuned for the next videos I'm gonna start tear down all this shit's coming apart oil cooler thermostat water pump uh, radiator serpentine belt already got my new uh, I got a new turbo on here new alternator so yeah stay tuned